Hey, Bobcats, I'm here with the Athlete of the Week interview. I'm Shantiana Keys here with Abby Dalton of the soccer team. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. You're actually the first soccer player I've ever interviewed, so it's kind of cool. Nice. nice. Yeah, I was excited. Um, well, let's just get to know you. Um, I see you around the gym a lot. What is your major? And I am an athletic training major. Okay, so you're here. And do you specifically do women's basketball, or are you just here for any team? Um, I do women's basketball right now. I was with cross country earlier, so now they're done. I'm with basketball. Gotcha. What do you want to do with that after, besides just athletic training? I want to be a nutritionist, so athletic training and nutrition. Really? I've never heard that. Yeah, it's kind of a weird combo, but hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> it will, it will. And you're coming off a crazy week. The soccer, women's soccer team, for the first time, was um, in the PBC championship. That's nuts. How did you feel, I guess, just, just knowing that, how did you feel um, just going into the championship? Going to the championship, I was really excited. It was kind of like an unreal feeling because we knew we were good enough to get there all season, but we hadn't necessarily gotten the results. So things finally like went our way, and that was really exciting and like a good feeling. What do you think changed? Like what? I mean, obviously, if your mentality is that you you know you can you can get there, what do you think changed over the course of the season um, that prepared you for the PBC tournament? I think we just kind of peaked at the right time, like. Um, players finally started to click, like we were finishing our shots, like the ball was finally bouncing our way. So everything just came together at the right time for us. Okay, and you had the late goal against Armstrong Atlantic, who hadn't been beat at home, and you said 51 games, which is 2008, crazy. Um, and and y'all took it away with 2-1, uh, to one, and you had a late goal with two minutes left. How did that feel? Or did you even know, it was, like, are, were you sure it was going in, or did you have a feeling? Um, I didn't realize I was as close to the goal as I was, so I, mean, I guess I knew it was going in because it was a, a pretty, it was a really good pass, so it was pretty easy to handle. But the feeling was just kind of unreal that we're like we're beating Armstrong at home, like in the conference tournament. Like it was crazy. It was an awesome experience. Okay, and then you advance to the semifinal game to play Columbus State. Just give me a recap of that game. Well, we had never beaten Columbus um, in program history, so going in. We knew we were up for like a tough game and like games against Columbus are always like physical, really intense, but our team like rose up to the occasion and we came away with the win. And are, how excited are you for next season to improve and you know, maybe take that title at the end of the season? I'm so excited. That, that loss was hard to deal with, but at the end of the day, um, all we're gonna take is like more motivation to get back there and especially returning almost our whole team that we can definitely get there next year. That's awesome. And I, I was so impressed by the soccer team's like reaction to um, the loss um, you took to Twitter. I mean, I think the soccer team is probably the most like socially, um, I don't even know what I'm looking for, but most of the soccer girls that I know go to Twitter quickly if anything happens, you know, uh, especially Taylor Cornelius. Um, but. Just after the game, the encouragement, the encouragement from Bobcat fans in general, from the other teams, I was really impressed by that. And just that y'all were, you were admitting that, you know, it was tough, but you knew like moving forward that y'all were just gonna be better. And I just, I really just applaud all of you for that. It was really cool to see. Um, how, do you, how did you think um, your team handled it? I think we handled it as best we could. At the time, it was really hard to be so close to winning the championship like for the first time in school history that PKs are just a hard way to lose, especially battling for 110 minutes and having it come down to that. But I think at the end of the day that we had such great support from all the other sports teams and all our other people who had been like standing by us all season that really I think we handled it as best as any team could. And it really is just a big motivation for next season. Awesome. Okay, and tell me the team's reaction to the video that was put together. The video was awesome. Like, we watched it, uh, let's see, Friday night when it was first made. And then we, like, Sunday pregame, like, it was playing, like, in my hotel room. <laughs> it was playing in, like, everyone's hotel room. Like, it was just crazy to see the support that we were getting from back in Milledgeville. And it was such a good, like, motivation and just that extra thing that we really needed to go into the game. Which... Who did the best recording? Women's basketball, of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, well, just a fun question. Let's see. Favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh, jeez. Um, do you like? Do you like yeah, Taylor Swift? Yeah, I mean, I like her. I like 
Red? Is that what, that whole album? Okay, I really well, like it. your favorite song of the moment, I guess. Song of the moment? Jeez. Um, oh, I'm obsessed with Katy Perry. <laughs> okay. So I've been playing her new CD and probably... Oh, gosh. I can't remember the songs now. Well, um, I mean, the whole CD. We'll I like Dark Horse. Dark I'll, Horse. I'll go with that one. Yeah. Okay. Is that a good pump-up song? I don't know. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, not one of the best, but yeah. it's all right. Do you have a pump-up song? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, well, I hope next season is, you know, just as successful, if not more, than this season, because obviously, you know, it's a pretty great season already, and uh, it's a good one to, it's a good one that you don't have to hang your hat on, you know, like yeah. it's not, it's not your best right now, so next season, I hope I'll be interviewing you again yeah. with a championship, you know, and we're trying to figure out a way to sign out of these interviews, because I don't have one, so do you have an idea? I'm putting you on the spot. Last week was Keys Out by Caroline Ham, and it was questionable. Yeah, I, I mean, sounds good to me. It looks all right. Okay, well, <laughs> then you have to do that with me. That's, that'll be it for now, okay? okay. So it's Keys Out. Okay, ready? Out. Yeah. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> ready? Go. Keys, Keys Out. out. <laughs>